This video shows the servo board that we looked at in the prior video and it's now connected to a soundboard. Uh, the servo board is, is really unchanged except for some additional connections. The servo board holds an MP3 player that can be controlled by the servo board or just about anything that has a microcontroller. And it's set up so that when I press the button on the servo bar board, the servo, of course, rotates, brings the spout down. You may have noticed as soon as the spout is in its down position, the sound started. The important thing to note is right here on the MP3 board, you can see a little blue LED. As long as that LED is lit, it means the sound is being played. As soon as it goes out, the servo board senses that and the servo will return to its normal position. should be coming up here in a second or so. There it goes. So starting it with the button, servo goes to its one position, starts the sound after the sound has gone to its uh, completion, and that can be as long as you want. It can be a couple seconds up to a couple of minutes. It will then return to its original position and stop waiting for you to press the button again.